Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rianti Alamanda Mulidia. Indonesia is a big country inhabited by hundreds of millions of people, including islands spread widely. We have been independent since 1945, but I think Indonesia is not yet independent in terms of education. But it proved that the Indonesian curricula changes every year. But it proved that the Indonesian education has not been able to compete with developed countries. We tend to fall behind and have not have able to print a great human resources class as developed countries. Ladies and gentlemen, I try to draw a line to the back and I got the irony which is really disappointed in this very rich country there are so many students drop out school do not have a uniform and swim go to school because of the broken bridge statistics of school buildings damage and have not been improved are also too much it is happening in the province that are far from the center of government and gives continue a negative effect on the education system in in the province itself Of course, a child who does not get education will have difficult in achieve a better standard living in his in his or her future. You've seen a lot of ignorance and poverty arise because so many crimes arise from poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, education is a major key to get a better state order. Through proper and best education, we are able to print high quality human resources, educated, ignored, and destroy poverty. During the pandemic, I was disappointed by the teachers and lecturers' lack of awareness about mental health of students. Change in learning pattern from face to face to distant learning during the COVID-19 pandemic have an impact on the mental health of the community, especially students. According to the research conducted by Indonesian Association Mental Medicine Specialist or PDSKJI, in May, 69% survey participants experienced psychological problems related to COVID-19. This data was confirmed by Chairman of DKI Jakarta Psychiatry. Specialist Association Dr. Novarianti Yusuf SPKJ, according to him, this condition need to be watched out for considering the, the impact will also felt by students who are nation next generation. He added that this situation can anticipate if teacher and parents recognize the early symptom of mental health problems experienced by students. One of things that can be down into included educational about mental health in students. The school must also be open to children who want to talk about their mental health problems. The school should pay attention to condition of its students not only on quality their learning process. However, what is important to pay attention more to safety, the condition of children's mental health well-being, and other things related to the challenge faced by children in the learning process at home. Vision of mental health services for children has been implemented in various countries and has succeeded in re reducing various related problems experienced by children. Due to this pandemic, telephone counseling service, hotline, online and offline for community as first aid for mental health problem. So, mental health problems of vulnerable groups, especially children and teens, can be resolved properly before they cause more serious effect. Therefore, let us together to be students and teachers that are diligent, sincerely, and keep trying without any uh, child. We are Indonesia, a rich country that have should the best education. 
do not give up on the fate of our nation and happy national happy national education day that's all for me the video about the speech um thank you so much i'm really sorry about the bad quality and the bad angle or anything but thank you so much for watching bye bye see you in the next video I love you, I love you.